Hi, this is Pastor Drew with your October 5th Keeping Connected video. I wanted to start my video today with a passage of scripture. This is from the book of Job in the Old Testament, uh, chapter 19, starting at verse 23. Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at last he will stand upon the earth. After my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. These powerful words are familiar to many people who have been listening to songs. There's certainly the powerful um, anthem, I Know That My Redeemer Lives, and uh, this is a familiar passage uh, from the Old Testament in the book of Job. However, for those of you who know the larger story of Job, uh, it's not always the sins of confidence. The book of Job is about a man who loses everything. He loses his family in tragic accidents. He loses his health to uh, painful boils. He loses um, his friends who come around and start criticizing him and asking questions um, and crit criticizing his faith. Job loses everything, but he doesn't lose his faith. And in this season of uncertainty, we're wondering why are all of these things happening? Where is God in the midst of that? The book of Job gives us answers, but they're not easy answers. They're answers that are grounded in not a sort of Pollyanna hope, but a grounded, rooted, faithful hope that is not afraid to yell our criticisms and injustices out to God. It's not afraid to complain and to be angry and to be sad. The faith of Job is a faith that's real because it's rooted in a deep relationship with God. I am really excited that Wednesday, uh, myself and some others from our church are going to be starting a study on the book of Job. And I want to invite you to participate in that. Uh, we'll be meeting over Zoom at uh, six o'clock during our Wednesday night dinner hour. So come pick up a meal on Wednesdays or uh, eat some dinner and then join us at six o'clock uh, on our church Zoom account. And you can either join my Zoom class or Pastor Charlie is teaching on the book of Revelation, another uh, interesting uh, study. Pastor Carrie has got a book study. Pastor Alice has a study she's written on biblical heroines. There's lots of opportunities to engage with your faith and to join together as our church family. And I want to make sure that you know about those and are encouraged to participate in that. Because here at Memorial, we are all about making deeply rooted disciples of Jesus. And a big part of how we become deeply rooted disciples is by studying and learning and growing in our faith and doing that with other people because we want to be transformed by the word and not just hearers only. So come join me for our study on Job, join one of our other classes. If Wednesdays don't work for you, there are other options, but come and help engage your faith here at Memorial, and I would love to see you and learn alongside you. I hope you're having a great week. I hope that you are staying encouraged and staying focused on Jesus in the midst of all of our distractions, and if there's a way that we can pray for you as a church, please let us know because we would love to pray for you, to come alongside you, to cry with you, and just to be present as we are all going through this crazy season of life together. God bless you.